Hello everyone, Shoaib here from Cyber Panel. So many users ask uh, how they can install Roundcube and how they can access Roundcube from Cyber Panel. Uh, so I thought we must have a video tutorial on this. In this video, I am going to set up Roundcube with Cyber Panel and I am going to do each and every step in this video so if we have got any error we will record that and we will see how we can fix that i already added one domain on this server uh, to you show you how this will work how round cube setup will work on this server and i also added one subdomain to access the round cube so there are some pre requirement uh, for the round cube set up on cyber panel like you must have a database let's create a database first we already added the subdomain so we can create a database for the main domain like here we can select the main domain and we can round cube and then user will be round cube and then we can set password something like this okay i just set up very simple password you must have to create a secured password so your data will be remain secure so i already created a database keep this in your mind and then let's see how we can upload the round cube files here here uh, go on the round cube then download and here you can see there are there are the latest version and this stable version so we will go for the complete latest version just copy this url from here you can download and upload from cyber panel as well but i am going to do this from the terminal so what we can do here we can just move to the directory home and then cyber persons and then we install we set up an email here that is this so we can just download the files here okay the files are downloaded now let's go to the file manager of cyber panel okay here we can see our files so let's extract these files here okay files are here let's move all these files in the main directory where we have to access these so here here you can see now we have our database we have uh, round cube files now what to do here so what we have to do here we just have to initiate the installation so let's go on this side and here oh sorry my bad uh, the ssl is not issued on so this domain so let's issue the ssl first okay uh, the ssl issue occur because uh, i added the domain first in this server and then updated the dns if you are, have already updated the dns or if you are using the ssl v2 then you will not face this ssl issue uh, and the one other thing is let me first check the ssl is issued okay here we have the ssl now just refresh this page and we have an error oops something went wrong so first of all we have to do how to fix this so this is the simple simple access so we have to initiate the installer So we have to initiate the installer of this script. Oh, sorry. My bad, my bad. So we have to initiate this installer. So here uh, we cyber panel come with all the basic uh, PHP extensions. You sometimes you need to install some extension that you can do from here. 
so let's go to the php then install extension if there is any missing extension for cyber panel you can install from here like this okay from here but right now we have all the extension installed then these recommendation for the best these are also the extensions my sql is okay okay and we have good to go we have good to go it access is created we have good to go so let's move to the next this is the important part uh, so there are some tough configuration but i suggest to not like if you want to change the name you can change here and if you want to set keep these temp directory default these must be default this must be default where you have to do something is this part so you remember in the start we created some database for this so what that database will be so here we can go to the list database we created a database that is that is this the username and the database name is same so let's go here localhost keep the localhost add the username add the database name okay and then add the password okay then all done check your language which uh, you prefer to use and then add here okay okay go here go here, go here and create a configuration okay so the configuration file is saved into the directory or the configuration directory now we can continue with this okay so configuration file is okay default configuration is okay writable writable okay db scheme is db schema is not initialized you can initialize from here okay that is initialized so now let's go about these two main configuration thing for this server i have not set the email records and all these things but let's create a example email uh, to test with like uh, i don't have a working email on this but i am just creating an email uh, so we can just use that for some for this testing so i created an email okay so let's create and let's add the username and then the password then sender will be same and uh, user can be okay so let's send an email okay email not sent i know that and you know that why this email is not sent because we are using this port and on this we are not updated any dns so this can be a failure also if we can use the same access for the imap we have to check what we have to do okay imap is okay but this is not okay we know the reason okay the installation is done now let's go to the main site when in start we visited this site there was an error but now we can see that we can access this site so if we want to use this email can we access through this email yes we can you can use round cube with cyber panel without any issue now uh, for the email delivery and all these stuff you must have the dns set but for the simple round cube setup this will be an enough video that will be share all the details with you i fix some error in front of you as well uh, so without any without cutting a video anywhere so uh, we can use this method to set up the round cube fully thank you